Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Dana. Normally I upload a new video once a week, but now that it's December and the holiday season is in full swing, I have made it my goal to upload a new video every single day until at least Christmas. Today I have another tea review. This one is called Fireside Fig. I think we should get it steeping first and foremost. So let's open it up. So I have this glass cup. I like to use glass so I can like see the color of the tea and everything. And then I have my metal basket tea infuser. I actually sell these on Amazon. I have a dream of someday having a tea and teaware business and selling these guys on Amazon was my first step towards that. So this is my first product for my business and I'm pretty proud of it. I chose to do a metal basket infuser because they're just, they're durable, they're easy to clean. They're just my absolute go-to anytime I make a cup of tea. So I, I just thought they were the perfect essential that every tea lover or aspiring tea lover should have. I'm just gonna take a scoop of our tea and put it right into the infuser. and pour in our hot water. And now we can set this to the side, let it steep as long as we want because it is an herbal tea. So we can let it steep as long as we want while we check out the loose tea and the ingredients and the tea company. So this is called Fireside Fig and it's by the brand White Tea Company, but it's spelled W-I-G-H-T. So like white as like maybe a last name or something, not like white tea, the tea type, <laughs> but it says a unique and cozy combination of honey bush, fig, and spices. And this is a pretty generous amount. This is a, it says enough for eight cups. So that's awesome. I got this in a sip spy box. I think it was the caffeine free holiday box and they always give enough for like like four or so cups of tea it's always like well over one cup of tea but this one's actually really really big so let's start by taking a scoop out so we could see what it looks like i definitely see the rooibos in there and when i scooped some out for my cup i did get like a big chunk of fruit which i assume is a fig so let me see if i can get one of those there we go yeah so there's some nice big chunks that i think are the fig but let's read the ingredients oh it's actually pretty simple south african honey bush fig cinnamon ginger organic natural flavors very simple packaging made from certified compostable films and inks our story, White Tea Co. was established in 2015 by two siblings, Brittany and Joey White, with the goal of creating accessible, high-quality teas and bespoke tea blends, handcrafted and curated in Baltimore. So I definitely smell like the fig, like that's like the number one thing. If I like kind of get past that i definitely smell like the ginger and the cinnamon but the fig should be and is the most prominent smell so i want to go on their website let's see what they are all about so here's a picture of Brittany and joseph cute with seven years difference in age siblings Brittany and joseph never had much in common and hardly ever talked until they found tea and built their friendship around it. Me and my brother are six and a half years apart. He's uh, six and a half years younger than me. So I have a similar age difference with my brother. In 2016, the duo founded White Tea Company, handcrafting adventurous tea blends like Sage Rose White Tea, Blueberry Basil Rooibos, and Fireside Fig. Let's go to the Fireside Fig page. I really love their photos look at this clean simple aesthetic it's like a flat lay of a cup of their tea with some like notebooks some honey and like binder clips and i really love that it's like white and clean like i kind of aspire to a similar aesthetic on my instagram i like to keep it simple i love white backgrounds i just i love how this looks it's so like crisp and like nice to look at Ooh, and i like how their tins look they have these cute little black tins so if you buy like a full amount of tea and not just a sample 
you get one of these and it says a cozy combination of honey bush tea with fig cinnamon and ginger no caffeine so that's all it has to say on there but they have some nice interesting sounding tea blends like blueberry basil maryland mint smoked chai cinnamon walnut yao pan and then they have some more basic stuff they have jasmine pearl green tea they have a rooibos matcha wow this is something i've never seen before it's caffeine free rooibos ground into a fine powder using the same process as traditional japanese matcha great for making a delicious latte i've never seen that before it's like brown matcha that is really unique I want to see their Instagram page because I bet it's really good. All right, here they are. Adventurous loose leaf tea blends. Physical location now open in Baltimore. Oh my God, their store is cute. Wow, look at that. I love those round like hanging pendant lights. And I love this like wood treatment on the front of their counters. What a cute shop. Yeah, and definitely a lot of cool photos, like that clean aesthetic. Love that. Very cute. They seem like a really cool, like fresh kind of brand. And they kind of have that sort of like adventurous, but like clean and sophisticated sort of feel. And it smells so Christmassy. I don't know why, like I don't really associate figs with Christmas, but there's something about the smell that reminds me of like what I would imagine a sugar plum to be like. So let's go ahead and remove our infuser. Look at that gorgeous color from the honey bush. All right, let's go ahead and try it. It's like the perfect blend of the fig and the spices. Like the spices are nice and mild. And they really just support the fig. Like the star of the show really is the fig. This definitely has a real Christmassy kind of vibe. But I could imagine it enjoying it different times of year too. Like it's not like specific to Christmas, but is perfect for Christmas as well. I love how it's simple, but effective. Like it doesn't have a whole lot of ingredients, but you can taste like everything it does have. So I think the star is the fig. Yeah, this is a cozy tea. I feel like I could like drink this by my Christmas tree and like watch a Christmas movie with this. And it's so nice that it's caffeine free because I could drink it all cozied up at night and it's just perfect. I feel like their blends are like imaginative but with flavors like you've seen in tea before, but wouldn't have thought to put together. Like, like for example, sage rose white tea seems like a pretty interesting combination. Like blueberry basil, cinnamon walnut yao pan. Like I've had obviously cinnamon teas. I love walnut teas and I love yao pan, but would I have thought to put those things together? I don't think so. Like making a powdered rooibos to like imitate matcha. Like, I, we've all had rooibos, we've all had matcha, but like that is so intriguing. Like how could you not try that, you know? It's, it's tea and it makes sense as tea, but it's imaginative and really cool. So I think white tea is gonna be a really cool like up and coming brand and I really hope to see more of them and hear more about them and taste more of their teas. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little review of Fireside Fig from White Tea. And I hope that you and your families are staying safe and healthy. And I hope you're having a beautiful holiday season and a beautiful day. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.